Welcome to the fifth episode of our series on mathematical language and symbols. If we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division as operations that we can use on our numbers, we also have the following operations that we can apply if we are given sets. But before we continue, do not forget to like this video, hit the subscription and notification bell to stay updated of future videos. The first operation that we will be discussing is called intersection of sets. The symbol for intersection is this symbol and by definition, the intersection of two sets is the set of all elements that is common to both of them. Whatever is common to the two sets, we collect them, we express it as a set. That would be the result of the operation intersection. Let us provide an example for this one. We are given three sets, set A, set B, and set C. We can see the elements here. The first question is the intersection of A and B. This is read as A intersection B. This means that we are going to collect all the elements that, that are common to both A and B. And what are those? This is our set A. This is our set B. Is one a common element? It's not. How about 4? Yes, 4 is found in B. 5. Is 5 found in B? Yes, so 4, 5, 7. How about 7? It's not. So the intersection is the set containing two elements, 4 and 5. We need to remember that our answer should be a set because we are operating on sets. The result must be also written in set notation. How about letter B? A intersection C. It should be between set A and set C. Let us work with this set because it has fewer elements. Is 3 an element of set A? Nope, it's not. Is 6 an element of set A? It's not. We cannot find any 6 here. How about 9? Can we find 9 here? No. Therefore, the intersection is the null set because there is no element common to A and C. Using Venn diagrams, we can easily identify the intersection between or among sets. For instance, if we are given this Venn diagram, we have two subsets. It's set A and set B. The question is, what is the intersection of A and B? A intersection B. Again, intersection means the set of all elements common to the two sets. In our Venn diagram, we can easily find that intersection. It's the elements included in the overlapping region. Our answer should be the set containing A, D, E, and 1. That's the intersection of the two sets. Another operation, we call them union of sets. Our symbol for it is this one. This is read as A union B. And this is the set containing either an element of A or from element of set B. In other words, we are combining the elements of A and B. Here is an example. We are given three sets. Again, what is A union B? We are going to combine all the elements of A and B. If an element is common to both of them, we do not have to write it twice, but we can write it once. For instance, the union of A and B is the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Although 5 is an element of both sets, in our union, we write it only once. A and C, the union is the set containing 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9 based from the definition of union. In terms of our Venn diagram, we can also easily identify the union of two sets. For example, what is the union of A and B based from this Venn diagram? It should be the combination of all the sets included in the two sets. So here is the union of the two sets. All elements that are inside the yellow region are elements of A union B. This slide is oddly telling us that normally the word AND is associated with the operation intersection while the word OR is associated with the operation union. For example, how do we write in words this expression here? We say that the set of all elements that are in A or 
remember this or that is equivalent to this symbol its union the set of all elements that are in a or are in b and c this intersection here in english is translated to the word end how about the second one this is intersection so we need to use the word end so we say the set of all elements that are in j and are not in k we will discuss this symbol later the third operation is called set difference we may use this notation or this one this is read as a minus b by definition the difference of two sets is the set containing all the elements of a that are not in b example if these are our two given sets what is a minus b a minus b is the set containing one three five why is one an element of a yes but is it an element of b no that's why it's included in our set difference in other words we are removing all the elements that are found in b two we remove it four we remove it here and eight we do not have an eight here so we removed two and four that's the result be reminded also that a minus b is not the same as b minus a we work from b and then we remove all the elements of b that are elements of a so what should we remove should we remove two yes because it's common four yes because it's common six we do not have a six here also we do not have an eight here so b minus a is the set containing six and eight in our venn diagram we can interpret set difference like this so a minus b is all a less b and that is the set containing nine five eight b minus a it's the other way around it's the set containing 6 12 and 13. the last operation is called the complement of a set the complement of a given set say a is denoted by a prime this is read as a prime and what is the complement of a set this is the set of all elements of the universal set that are not in element of a that means that the complement is the set containing the elements of the universal set that are not found in set a here are examples we are given a universal set and we are going to identify the complements for example what is the complement of a a contains the elements 2 4 6 and 7 what is a prime those are elements of our universal set that are not in a the answer is 1 3 5 8 9 10 these are the elements of the universal set that are not found in a also b prime is this set for the same reason how about c prime if we look at c 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that's exactly the same as our universal set c prime then is the set of all elements that are found in our universal set that are not elements of c but since they are just the same set they are equal c prime is the null set what is d prime if d is the null set it follows that d prime is the the same as the elements of the universal set using our venn diagram what is a prime everything that are outside the subset a so we just list all the elements that are colored yellow those are the elements of a prime b prime that's the set containing all the elements that are outside b or the region colored yellow how about this one another problem a union b prime the complement of a union b so we need to look first for a union b recall that a union b is this region everything that are inside the two subsets that means that if we take its complement it should be everything outside the two subsets so there we have it the complement of a union b those are our four operations on sets for our next video we will be solving a problem involving sets i will see you there